Hey doctors, welcome back to Meducate. Today we're decoding one of the most crucial updates of NEET PG 2025. The MCC tentative seat matrix for verification by institutes has just been released. Earlier this week, NMC had approved 2,337 new PG seats, but the MCC data released today tells a very different story. Let's break down exactly what changed, which branches gained or lost seats, and how this affects your counseling strategy. So here's what happened. Uh, a few days ago, the National Medical Commission, NMC, published its final list of approved MD slash MS slash D NB seats for the 2025 session. And the total seat increase nationwide was around 2,337. Now, under normal circumstances, half of these go to All India Quota, AIQ, and the other half remain with State Quota, which means around 1,100 plus seats were expected to appear in the MCC All India Seat Matrix. However, when MCC uploaded its tentative seat matrix for verification by institutes on the 27th of October 2025, the total seat count increased by only 342 under the All India Quota. That's less than 30% of what was expected. So clearly something major has changed between NMC's approval list and MCC's upload. Now let's look at the numbers first. In 2024, the total All India seats were 12,273. In 2025, that number has risen to 12,615. That's an increase of just 342 seats under All India Quota, which means across India, including state quota. The total rise is roughly 684 seats. So, uh, even though NMC approved 2,337 seats, only about 684 have actually appeared nationwide in the MCC matrix so far. The remaining 1,600 plus seats haven't yet been reflected, possibly because some colleges haven't verified them, or they're still awaiting final permission uploads from NMC to MCC servers. Now, let's dive deep into course-wise changes especially in the top clinical subjects that matter most during counselling. Seats increased in ENT by 8, Respiratory Medicine by 7, Dermatology by 3, Emergency Medicine by 3, and Pediatrics by 1. Seats dropped in Anesthesia by 27, General Medicine by 22, Psychiatry by 20, and Radiology by 17. Branches like surgery, OBGY, and orthopedics remained completely stable. In total, a net drop across major clinicals, balanced by minor gains in smaller departments, leading to the final plus 342 seat increase in the AIQ list. There are three main reasons behind this mismatch. One, verification pending. Many colleges haven't yet confirmed their approved seats on MCC's portal. 2. Approval Upload Delay NMC's approval list reaches MCC after digital verification. Some colleges' permissions are still awaiting upload. 3. Seat Redistribution Some seats temporarily appear under state quota or deemed university quota and may shift later during final matrix upload. So yes, there's a real chance that the total may increase slightly before round 1 choice filling. For NEET PG candidates, this means don't rely only on the NMC approval count. The MCC final matrix is what decides your options. Competition may remain similar to 2024, since the net seat rise is only 2 to 3 percent. Top clinical cutoffs may not drop significantly, especially in branches like medicine, radiology, and anesthesia. So, as of today, only 342 new All India seats have been added around 684 nationwide and several thousand seats from NMC's list are still pending verification. Once MCC publishes the final round one seat matrix, we'll bring you the updated analysis with the real totals, cutoffs and counselling strategy. If you want personalised help during NEET PEGI counselling, 
like choice filling, backup planning, you can take Meducate's paid counseling service. Our expert team helps you identify the best possible seat within your rank based on previous year trends, fees, bond, and hospital exposure. It's a one-time counseling mentorship plan that gives you clarity and confidence before you lock your choices. For details, you can reach out directly through our Telegram group.